Hello and welcome to my YouTube series Increase Your Research Impact. In this episode I'll show you how to use LinkedIn to promote your paper. So LinkedIn, you said you're all using LinkedIn um, and you all get these invitations from people, you connect to people, you update your CV, when you change employers, you change the affiliation, uh, but there's a lot more uh, you can do uh, with LinkedIn um, because you can also look at what other people are sharing and you can also share material yourself. But you can use it very much as a social media platform now. It's not just your CV um, and your personal connections. So if we look at LinkedIn, as you can see here, I have a lot of postings on my LinkedIn account. And the only disadvantage LinkedIn has that is that it's really slow. Um, this morning I shared um, the latest blog post on uh, my blog, which has been written by Nico about uh, writing a book, at least once in your career. Um, and it's been viewed 134 times um, since this morning, which is not bad. Um, and there's been seven people who liked it, and there's even been one, oh no, I think that was on Twitter, who uh, wrote some comments about it. Um, you can see for all of your posts how many views they've had, how many likes they've had. Um, I typically find that most of the posts might get a couple of likes and they might get one or two comments. Um, some of the um, posts you get like 80, 90 likes, uh, but most commonly it's just a couple because people can't be bothered to engage with so many. Um, I also always share uh, meetings of the Signa Women's Network um, that I've been involved in in the last five years. So we share the materials on LinkedIn, including a group picture. It's a nice way to publicize uh, the network as well. Um, you will then get notifications telling you um, who has actually liked particular posts so if you're not yet following these people if you're not yet connected with these people you can connect with them as well um, and you can even see who looked at your profile Nico has been looking at my profile <laughs> just now um, you can also switch this off if you don't like other people seeing this but the standard settings in LinkedIn are that other people can see if you engage with that profile. I don't mind so much with LinkedIn because it's a professional interaction. So um, so this is really useful to see how others respond to your work as well. And start a post, exactly, well done. I'll write an article. Yeah, so you can, what I did, just showed you just now, having your own um, uh, your latest article, share the abstract, share the title, tell people where they can download uh, an online copy. You can do that on LinkedIn as well. Add a nice picture so that it has some visual impact as well. Preferably a picture that has something to do with the topic of your paper, obviously. You can also pick a picture that attracts interest, but then if it doesn't have anything to do with your paper, then people are going to be disappointed. It's up to you. Want to know more about how to use LinkedIn to increase your paper's impact? Have a look at this blog post. Just Google it and you'll find it easily. So after online repositories, ResearchGate and LinkedIn, the next step is Twitter, which we discuss in the next episode. Hope to see you there.